You're probably using Final Cut Pro libraries and events wrong, and it could be costing you time. I'll show you the difference between libraries and events, and I'll share my trick for Final Cut organization that will save you an hour of frustration and headaches. Keep an eye out for my one-click library moving trick at the end. On to the main event. A library is the way Final Cut Pro organizes. If you go to Final Cut Pro and click on this little button up here, it will show the library sidebar. This is a library right here. And then underneath it, you have what's called events. So I like to organize Final Cut Pro by video. So for a library, that will be a certain type of video. For example, business videos or tutorials or personal family videos. I'll create a library for each one of those. And then inside of that, I'll create an event, which you'll see right here. These are different events. And those represent one specific video that I'm making. For example, I have this event called stop motion. And inside there, I'll have a project for, called stop motion and then all the media that goes with it. And inside that event, I can have variations or versions of the project. So I like to do one video per event. And the name kind of implies it, right? Maybe you're out filming something and it's an event. It happened. It was a certain discrete time. And so you're going to use an event to organize and contain all the media with that one. So in recap, Final Cut Pro organizes in libraries, then events, and then projects. And projects are what you edit and create in the timeline down here. You'll notice another thing called smart collections. These are automatically created when you make a library and inside they have these collections that are automatically created and then filled. For example, this one is all of our projects in the library. I can quickly see all the projects that are in the tutorials library at once. Or this one that's called stills. This shows me all of the images that are in this library. You can edit these by double clicking on them and it brings up this edit window and you can change the parameters. You can also right click on it and select new smart collection or press option command N to create a new start smart collection. All right, in Final Cut Pro, go to the library browser. If you don't see it, click on this button here or press Command-1 to open it. Then go up to File, New, and select Library. Give it a name and pick where you want to save it. The default location is Movies, and that's fine with me, so I'll save it there. By the way, you can't store a Final Cut Pro library on a hard drive that's used for a time machine backup. And you'll see here we have a new library, our smart collections were automatically made, and an event was created for us. Now I can start adding media to this event and create a project and start building a video. You can also create a library from some existing events. I'll select these two events in this library, and then I'll go up to File, and I'll select Copy Events to Library. I can select a library that already exists, or I can create a new one. We'll give it a name, example number two, and we'll save it in the Movies folder. When we're copying events, it brings up this window here. This is asking us what do we want to include. Do we want to include the media, or just the events and no media? We'll select media, like our videos, our pictures, that kind of thing. And we'll make sure original media is checked and we'll copy the media that's stored in any external locations. It'll bring it into the library. And then I'll click OK. All right, there we go. We have a new library. It contains the events that I selected, all of the projects and all of the videos and pictures and media. All right, to open up a library, click on File and then select Open Library. And you can pick a recent library you've opened. Let's try this Stupid Raisins one. It opened up the library and I have all my projects and media ready at my fingertips. I can also go File, Open Library and select Other. Now I can find other libraries that I have open that maybe weren't in the recent playlist. I can also click on Locate and find a library to open and then click Open. I can also click New here to create a new library. Once I have it selected, I can double click on it or click Choose. Now to close a library, select it, right click on it and then select close library or go to file and select close library. This is really handy if I want to move my library or I need to delete it. It's very important that I close it first. To delete a library, I need to find where they're at. So in Finder, I'll click on my hard drive. I'll go to users, then my name, and then the movies folder. This is typically where Final Cut Pro stores your library. I want to delete this one, example two, so I'm going to right click on it and select close library. And I'll go back to Finder and I'll select example two and then press command delete. So typically your libraries are stored here in the movies folder, but you can have them anywhere. I have some libraries on an external hard drive. I have some on my desktop. And if you need to get to your libraries quickly, there's a faster way than going through Finder. In Final Cut Pro, select your library and then right click on it and select Reveal in Finder. Or select your library, go to File, select Reveal in Finder, or just press Shift Command R. And it will pop up Finder and it will select and show you where that library is. 
You can change your library properties by selecting a library and then opening up the inspector by clicking on this button in the upper right corner or pressing Command 4. If we click on Modify Settings, I can change where my media is stored. I'm going to keep it in library. And I can do the same for motion content like titles, effects, and transitions. And I can change where my cache is saved or my backups. This looks good. I can also consolidate media and bring it in. That means if I have video and pictures outside of my library, when I consolidate it, it brings it all into one location. So I'll select Media Destination and include the original media and then I'll press OK. So Final Cut Pro automatically backs up your library every few minutes and then it keeps those backups for about 30 days. Those backups are in the movies folder just like your libraries. It's in a folder called Final Cut Backups. If you open that up you'll see folders with the same names as your libraries and then if you open that up you'll see different versions of it. If you want to open that up you can just double click on one and you'll see it opens it up in Final Cut Pro and it has a time and date stamp on it. You can also open a library from a backup. First select the library that you want to open a backup of. Then go to File, Open Library, and select from backup. Then select the backup you want to restore. These go back to March 11th for me. And then select open and you'll see it's opened up here in the library browser on the left hand side. To create an event, select library where you want to store it and go up to file, new, select event or right click on the library and select new event or just click the library where you want to create the new event and press option N to create a new event. Give it a name and then you can also change the library if you want and you can also say create a new project when I create this event and we can set up some project settings right here. Then click OK. So now I have a new event here and I have a project built for me ready to go. To delete an event just click on the event and go to file select move event to trash or press command delete. Are you sure you want to delete that event? Yes. Click continue and that event is deleted. You can combine several events into one. Select the events that you want to combine and then just click and drag them onto the new event and let it go. And you'll see that they were combined into one event right here. And all the projects are put in there. And then all the media is moved as well. You can also select the events you want to combine and go up to file and select merge events. You'll see they're put into one event and all of the information projects and media is in it. All right, to split an event, you need to create a new one and then drag the projects and the clips you want into that new event, like so. We'll select some video and we'll put it in there as well. You'll notice that you can't select a project and a clip at the same time. You have to select either your projects first, drag them over, and then select your media and drag it over. You can sort your library events as well. Select your library and go up to view and then click on sort library events by and then select name or by date. Right now they're sorted by name and it's going to it's ascending. So it starts at A through Z. If I want to sort by date, just click that and it will sort oldest to newest. If I go back here, I can also change it from oldest to newest to newest to oldest. Are libraries and events starting to make sense to you? Are my organization tips being helpful? If so, will you give it a thumbs up so other people will see this video? Thanks, and in just a bit, I'm gonna show you that one-click trick for moving a library from one computer to another. But first, I wanna show you how to create projects. In Final Cut Pro, select a library or an event that you want to create the new project in. Then go up to File, New, Project. Or right-click on the event and select New Project. Or even faster, just press Command N. Give your new project a name. You can change the event where you want it stored. And you can also set your format and resolution. Then press OK. So now we have a new project in this event. To open a project, simply select it and right-click on it and select Open Project. You can also double-click on a project to open it. Let's open a couple more by double-clicking. Down here in the timeline, you'll see these arrows here. This allows me to navigate between the projects that I've opened. By clicking on the arrow, I can go forward and backward. To close a project, I simply click on this arrow next to the project name and select Close Presets. Now that project is no longer in my timeline sequence, and so when I try to go to it by clicking on these arrows, it's no longer there. I can also select the project in the browser and then go up to File and select close render, close that project. You can go to file again and I can select close other timelines. It will keep duration open, which we see right here, but it will close the other projects. And you'll see I can't click here to go to those other projects. To rename a library, simply click on it and then click again or press enter and it will highlight the name. And now you can put a new name in for your library and then press enter. You can do the same thing for your events. Select it, press enter, and then enter the new name, and then press enter. For projects, you can do the same as well. Select it, press enter, and then add a new name to it, and then press enter. All right, to delete items from a library, simply select them like an event and then press Command Delete. Are you sure you want to delete it? Yes. If you go into an event, you can select projects and press Command Delete to delete those and do the same for videos and images. Do you want to move media to trash? Yes. 
All right, you may need to transfer a library to another computer. So select the library in Final Cut Pro, go to the inspector and click on modify settings. Make sure media is selected to in library. And if you have any titles, effects or transitions that you've made and you want to include them, change this to in library as well. If there are any third party plugins like titles or effects or transitions you bought, you'll need to manually move those over. This won't work. Then click OK. And then under media, click consolidate. This brings all of our media together so we can move it at once. We'll leave original media checked and click OK. Once that's done consolidating, quit Final Cut Pro. In Finder, find your Final Cut library and drag and drop it to an external hard drive. Let that copy over. And now you can connect that hard drive to your new computer and move that project to your new computer and then just double click the library to open it. So that's everything you need to know about libraries in Final Cut Pro. Sometimes libraries get really big in size. I made a video showing why that happens and what you can do to fix it. Click here to check it out.